the new and the old on show at Anfield tonight. New signing Nigel Spackman, bought from Chelsea on Monday for £440,000, makes his first Liverpool appearance, albeit as one of the two substitutes. And player manager Kenny Dalglish returns to the number seven shirt, his first full appearance for Liverpool since Boxing Day. Indeed, Kenny returns because Liverpool are without striker Paul Walsh, sent off in the first leg of this semi-final at Southampton, and the former Oxford man John Aldridge, who's cup-tied. Craig Johnston and Steve McMahon, who had been doubtful, are both fit. Southampton had a change forced on them by the suspension of Mark Dennis. David Armstrong fills in at left-back. Skipper Nick Holmes is also out. Defender Andy Townsend comes into the side. But the biggest scare today for Southampton has concerned goalkeeper Peter Shilton. He stubbed a foot badly in training today and just 45 minutes ago had it strapped by the Liverpool club doctor. The referee is Keith Hackett of Sheffield. So Liverpool get this semi-final underway with Wembley now just one step away in that all-red strip Attacking the goal to our right, Southampton tonight in a blue and black strip. Liverpool firm favourites. They've lost only one of their last 12. Southampton, by comparison, standing 18th in the table, have won only two of their last 14. Well, Liverpool, the, or rather every visiting defender here at Anfield gets a pretty torrid time. I think Kevin Bond can expect it tonight it was he involved in that fracas with Paul Walsh that uh, had Walsh sent off Lawrence still given Liverpool's way Benison with it Doug Leash Benison high towards Rush Kevin Bond underneath it as well Rush gets the header in McMahon is in as well and some good covering indeed there by Jimmy Case Rush's header looked to have put the midfield man in, but uh, the number four for Southampton, Jimmy Case, doing an excellent job there, deep in his own penalty area. So a corner for Liverpool, which Dalglish will take. Ben Gillespie at the near post, Molby in there too, and Rush, all of them six-footers. Case away, but only as far as Venison. And a goal kick to Southampton. Rush winning an important ball in the air, and it sets McMahon on his way. And just look at the little acceleration there and the interception by Jimmy Case. That's when he went past Case. Johnston trying to take it up. Now Cockerell. Good long raking stride he's got formerly with Lincoln City and Sheffield United and now putting George Lawrence into a position on the left there but Lawrence overhitting it Danny Wallace Forrest Case Forrest again Case playing it in but it's Grobelau's ball control and suddenly the possibility of a left foot shot opened up for the player manager hit firmly and safely Jimmy Case Case again challenged firmly and beaten by McMahon setting Delphiche up for Rush he could normally do better than that feeling that Southampton are packing this defence so strongly that half chances such as this have to be snatched fairly quickly that's what Rush did and 
is well wide. Put through by Dalglish. Townsend and Dalglish complaining to the referee that he should maybe get a little more protection than that. Well, he's got a free kick, and it's with Jan Mulby. Yeah. And a fine save there by Shilton from Ronnie Whelan. But Shilton, in gathering it, must have taken it over the line for a corner. Beautifully floated in here by Mulby. And Whelan coming in fast and powerfully at the far post. Shilton stopping it, and the ball going across for the corner. So pressure on Shilton. Big men all around him. He's getting a bit of support there from Glenn Cockerill. But Mulby, Gillespie, Craig Johnston, and Ian Rush are all in there. Flicked on that time by Gillespie. Clark had come back to help out. And here's Case. Last 10 minutes of the first half, 0-0 will score. Benison. Gillespie. of Townsend but Case is there Gillespie again good ball there by Gillespie for Rush can he make something of it blue shirts surrounding him again here's Townsend whacked away by Armstrong Hanson versus Clark on this game in the midfield that's a lovely ball he sprayed out there the referee put his arms wide the Southampton fans behind Bruce Gobelar's goal were appealing for a penalty challenging run here by Wallace but the referee said no pen Forrest it was a noticeable that it was an excellent ball from uh, Jimmy Case Spirit now and okay. Townsend, the man they bought from Weymouth, getting in his first shot of the game with his trusty left foot, but always going wide of Robelas goal. Whelan to Mulby, Johnston, Dalgleish, Dalgleish this time finding Ian Mulby. Benison, the first time really he's ventured forward, a little cross coming in towards Rush. And it had uh, Shilton scrambling across his goal, but it was hardly a firm header by Rush. Caught a little bit off balance, if anything, there. Benson. Dalgleish, as the half-time whistle goes. And his team are still seeking to find a way past this massed Southampton defence. Jimmy Case certainly in the midfield of Southampton doing a fine job keeping them afloat. But indeed, they're really not attacking with a great deal of... And Southampton get the second half underway. Attacking the goal to our right. It's Kevin Bond. George Lawrence and Gary Gillespie and on the far side there is Barry Benison bombed up well 
wheeling in and comes for Dalgleish, played short for Rush, a very important intervention there by Jerry Forrest. So the Liverpool bench there, and third from the left, Nigel Spackman, recently bought from Chelsea, one of the two Liverpool subs today. Johnston. Rush. Looking again to get the better of Mark Wright. Johnston. Turning him one way, turning him the other, finding Ronnie Whelan. And then McMahon with a shot! Superbly saved by Shilton. McMahon holds his head. And... It was a lovely piece of keeping by Peter Shilton. McMahon hit it first time, and Shilton flying and pushes it around for the corner. Craig Johnston with it. Lawrenson going in with a header. Go kick. Well, for all the scare there'd been about Peter Shilton's foot injury in training today, which needed some heavy strapping just before the kickoff. Well, he was certainly at his best then. Lawrenson. Hanson. Benison. Cockrell and uh, Bond between them getting it away. Armstrong, this one. is on and suddenly there are plenty of red shirts up Morby striking the post Johnston turning it back towards Rush Rush's header and Case belts the ball to safety and a great strike by Jan Morby Shilton was beaten for the first time but the post came to Southampton's rescue so close and here he is again right with that header away for Southampton Whelan in goes Forrest and Wallace comes for Whelan again it's time for McMahon the pace has quickened up a little bit as uh, Townsend comes in and gets it back to Shilton This is after this one, Cottrell to Grovelaar right out, and Grovelaar's missed it. The game goes on, and it's Gillespie getting it away. So there was a little bit of a scare there for Liverpool too. And it's a goal kick. Well, that's one of Grovelaar's trademarks. The other is the ability to bring off some breathtaking saves. Just for a moment, it looked as though he misjudged it. That level could have been in deep, deep trouble. I think football fans everywhere are optimists and they will be feeling that there's got to be a goal in this game somewhere. Holby. to rush Gillespie and Ronnie Whelan well there was a lovely build up by Liverpool and it had to be a raking shot at the end of beat Peter Shilton Gillespie charging forward again a nice touch there by Rush Gillespie just putting it into the path of Ronnie Whelan burying it to the back of the Southampton net Dalgleish starting it off, Gillespie playing his part in rush. And Whelan finding the finishing touch.
Rush. Well, a lovely strike by Rush. And Shilton needed two grabs at it. Seems though Rush had no chance of making any progress there, but the ball fell for him. Beating off the challenge of Bond there. And Shilton couldn't hold it first time. Cross in there. Well, that's uh, straight off the top of the crossbar there. Johnston. Wheeler. Hanson. Just a little cautionary piece of action there for Liverpool not to become in any way complacent. And Espy. And back to Grovela. Kept a clean sheet in 10 of his last 15 games. Which gives you an idea of the task facing Southampton now. Touch on there by Craig Johnston. Rush. Battling with Bond. And what great acceleration there by Craig Johnston. It falls for Kenny Dalglish. And the player manager celebrates with a second goal. the work of the master craftsman curling it round and just inside the post to beat Children. but what a great break here by Johnston crossed in Southampton caught wrong footed there and here's Delgleish a quick look around and gliding it wide of the defender wide of Peter Children, back of the net 2-0 Onto the field now, Nigel Smackman. And the cop enjoying this moment and wondering now what plans they should be making for yet another trip to Wembley. Rush. And Albert Mahon. The space here for Smackman. He took up a good position there, but Troll let him down a little bit. But what a lovely ball by Smackman now for the player manager. So close to finishing it off. And he's in there. Bowling. I don't know whether Rush did get a touch there just before it went in, but it was a lovely ball played there by Spackman. His first real big contribution as a Liverpool player. Now Leash took it up. Southampton thought they'd got it away. Here's Bowlby. And Rush standing there, in fact, didn't get a touch. All of his goal, 3-0, and a crowd of over 38,000 now delighting in the prospects of another Wembley visit. That's on for sure now. Now Gleish, the Southampton half clearance, enter Jan Mulby. And Rush lets it go under his foot. Last few seconds of this semi-final now being played out. The Liverpool making yet another trip south to Wembley. Right finding Wallace. Baker finding Craig uh, Johnston going hard for him, but it's Liverpool who go through to Wembley in the Little Woods Cup final, guided there again by Kenny Dalglish, whose second goal was magnificent after Ronnie Whelan had got the first and Jan Mulby had floated in the third. 38,000 here enjoying themselves and now beginning to make their arrangements to book their trains and their coaches and go down the motorway to see whether Liverpool can lift the Little Woods Cup again. The final score then here at Anfield, it's Liverpool 3, Southampton 0. Of 